Hi, can you tell me who you are? Uh, my name is Dominic Salazzo. Uh, I live in Midway Beach, South Seaside Park, New Jersey, and uh, I am a trustee on the board of directors of the Midway Beach Homeowners Association. Now, Dominic, you were at the Anjar Forum today uh, where you made a presentation on something that you organized and got your community to pitch in and do uh, of great environmental benefit after Superstorm Sandy ro roared through. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, let me just get a little backdrop here. Uh, you spent a lot of years at the shore. Uh, give me a little bit of history, on, but not too much. On. <laughs> I grew up at the Jersey Shore as a child, and uh, my, my family bought a house about 30 years ago. But I've been there since I was in diapers, and it's kind of kind of framed uh, my lifestyle and uh, made me who I am and it encouraged my education as a, as a Cook College uh, graduate and a, with a Bachelor of Science in Resource Management. It's kind of, it pretty much kind of set my way of thinking for my adult life and and where I go in the future. So you're a guy that values the shore and shore protection, and, and, and in fact, you, uh, you've you been involved in uh, in your community. Well, let, let's explain that. You're, you're not a municipality in itself. You're, you're a, a community. Yeah, a, a Mid, Mid, yes, Midway Beach is a private community, and uh, we, we have the, uh, we were fortunate after Sandy Beach uh, that we were able to just make decisions very quick and, and have the money to do it and not have to r uh, jump through hoops. And we didn't have the problems larger municipalities have where they had, you know, complete devastation in our towns and flooding and, and garbage issues. We were fortunate not to have much damage and uh, we were, that allowed us to immediately kind of respond to uh, the depressing concerns of, of, of beach erosion and, and protecting us from future storms. So. Okay, so now we're getting to the, the topic here. So you, you, your community was already doing beach protection on its own uh, and uh, Sandy roared through and part of the reason you escaped a lot of damage is because you had pretty good uh, dune system already built up. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Joe said I used to own the property before it became a homeowners association and the, he decided to have a, the home set back further from the ocean so that allowed us to have dunes over time. The last 30 years they've been building up through natural processes of fencing and, and planting of grass as a native uh, vegetation and uh, that, that space and that extra capacity allowed for enormous dunes. We had dunes of 25 feet tall and upwards of 120 plus feet wide so uh, when Superstorm Sandy came through it ate up a good 50 feet of our dunes but it, it pretty much left our community intact. And you say that's a lot of low-lying uh, uh, bungalow-style homes, which would have been had had the dunes not been there, would, a lot of those homes wouldn't be here today. It, it would have been they would all have been debris in the bay, like uh, some of the places in uh, in Manilokan. But those houses were on foundations. Our, our homes are literally on the majority of them are on cinder blocks, and they're old cottages built post World War II, and uh, they they pretty much, other than being remodeled a little bit, they're, they're still the same they were as. 50, 60 years ago. Okay, so then now we come to the theme of this uh, this organization, recycling. Uh, so you came up with the idea of a way to uh, rebuild those dunes that you were, were missing and to do some creative recycling at the same time, especially with the Christmas holiday season coming on. Why don't you encapsulate well, I, I can't take full credit for uh, <laughs> coming up with the idea of using Christmas trees. They have been used in uh, the DEP's uh, regulations for dune maintenance procedures, kind of mm -hmm. outlines it a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, he, he, hearing hearing the uh, knowing that the winter season was coming upon us and and uh, the nor'easters, and we wanted to kind of stabilize our beach as quick as possible. And we had put fencing up, but we we kind of decided to use the Christmas trees to kind of help the uh, help along with the fencing to kind of stabilize the beach and also to, to kind of allow people to kind of contribute to our efforts to kind of allow the healing on, on a larger basis not just with us but from people across the state municipalities helped us uh, Burlington City uh, Sea Caucus Princeton uh, Lawrenceville wow. everybody donated Christmas trees people would drop off single trees and be happy to do it to drive a half an hour 45 minutes to drop off a tree and that tree helped us you know stabilize our beach and, and since they've been buried under under feet of sand and grass is planted on top of it and you know we're, we're moving forward it's, it's it was a great experience to be part of well that's wonderful and uh, I guess maybe your example will uh, teach some other towns that maybe this is the way to go in the future <laughs> I, I surely hope that it can inspire uh, you know more stewardship of, uh, of our coastal shoreline great we got one question before we uh, leave which I'm sure everybody's gonna ask how many trees ended up on your beach I, I you know I, I I try to keep track. I'm, I'm guessing anywhere from uh, uh, over 1,000 to 1,200 trees. Wow. Yeah. Uh, terrific. And a lot of those, I guess, would have ended up in a, a landfill otherwise. Yeah, right? in a or, landfill. Or and okay. There was another thing that we did, too, is we uh, stripped some of the branches off the trunks, and the idea was to take the tree trunks and use them as fence posts. We ran out of time, and uh, but we're, we're looking we're looking towards that for this year, I mean, possibly using the tree trunks as fence posts because, yeah, 
it, it's costly. You know, that's, that's a cost for the association or, or any municipality to, to buy the fence posts. Well, Santa would be very proud. <laughs> Congratulations and uh, good luck to your organization. Thank you very much.